Hey everybody, Matt here for Imagine Then Make. Thanks for stopping by. Just have a real quick video for you today. I want to show you how and also explain to you why I replaced all of my table saws with a circular saw. So first off, I want to say I don't have anything against using a table saw. If you were to ask 10 woodworkers what's their most valuable or most used tool in their shop, they might say, or maybe 9 out of 10 would say, it's their table saw. And for a lot of them, their table saw sits right in the middle of their shop like a centerpiece. And hey, I was one of those guys for a while too. But now I'm in a smaller space, I'm paying more attention to dust collection and noise generation. And that's what inspired me to start thinking about alternatives to the table saw. Now I've explored using hand tools and uh, in particular Japanese style pole saws. Really enjoy using those. But for real long cuts, uh, boy, you have to be skilled and have to have a lot of patience. Sometimes I also don't always have the time to use a hand tool. And so I would prefer to use a power tool, but maybe not a table saw. So that's what forced me, or inspired me really, to start rediscovering the circular saw. Now I've had this one for a long time. It's a corded circular saw from Harbor Freight. It actually has a laser light on the front of it. And if you follow my channel at all, you saw me use this specific saw to rip uh, some 2x4s in half. And I found that process of ripping the 2x4s using the circular saw I thought it was much safer and I thought I was able to accomplish a better cut, make a better cut than if I was to try and do the same thing using a table saw, which incidentally I've tried to do on numerous occasions. After spending a significant amount of time with the corded circular saw, I kind of rediscovered battery powered tools. I've had this for a while, just have, really haven't used it, so I've kind of rediscovered it. This is a battery powered circular saw. It's a little uh, smaller in size, and you can see it's pretty light. This happens to be my go-to saw uh, right at the moment. So let me show you how I've been able to, for me anyway, effectively replace having a table saw and just use a circular saw. So the way I've been able to replace my need to have a table saw with just having a circular saw is by using a cutting guide for the circular saw and actually restart using a cutting guide. I've had this cutting guide for years and years and years. In fact, it comes in two pieces. It's called the Cutter's Edge 2 an All-Purpose Cutting Guide. I don't even know if they make it anymore, that's how long I've had this. Uh, uh, check the video description and if I find a link for this, I'll put it there. Otherwise, I'll put a link to something that's currently equivalent. So basically, it comes in two sections. Each section is 51 inches long. It's a little bit more than four feet, so that's very convenient when working with four foot sections of, um, of sheet goods. If I needed to make an eight foot long cut, what I can do is join these two sections with this connector. They just slide together and I can use a couple of screws to join them so they don't come apart. And now I have a nice straight guide from which I can make a nice accurate uh, cut, eight foot long cut using the circular saw. So I've done this over and over again years and years and I highly recommend it. <laughs> Nowadays, I don't really have a way to move four foot by eight foot sheet goods, nor do I really have projects that involve uh, pieces that large. So I've been using two foot by four foot sheet goods from the big box store. And in those instances, I just need to use half the guy, just one section. This has worked out extremely conveniently for me. It's like I've restarted using this guide and I now have re-remembered how accurate the cuts can be and 
that's just reminded me, at least me personally, how little I actually need a table set. So I highly recommend this. I also have a bunch of other reasons, a handful of other reasons why I prefer cutting sheet goods using a circular saw and a guide. So let me talk about those for a minute right now. So there's a bunch of reasons why I prefer using a circular saw with a cutting guide to cut sheet goods as opposed to using a table saw. Now with a table saw, the blade is typically exposed like so and hopefully you're using a blade guard and some sort of riving knife. I used both of these uh, safety uh, devices while I was using table saws. Um, but I've seen several YouTubers um, just use a riving knife with no blade guard and then I've seen other YouTubers which I don't think are in the United States or off, offshore somewhere and they don't use a blade guard or a riving knife and to me that just looks like an accident ready to happen. Now with a circular saw the only portion of the blade that's actually exposed Now, with a circular saw, the only portion of the blade that's actually exposed while you're making the cut is right here. The rest of the blade is protected by the movable blade guard and the, the housing for the saw. So I've got two hands on the circular saw like this and I'm pushing it, guiding this edge along the guide that's clamped down on my workpiece. I find it really difficult to um, think that I would somehow get my fingers over in this area and cause an injury. It just doesn't seem very likely to me. Also, if for some reason, if the saw were to bind while I'm making my cut, I've got two hands on the saw, should be easy enough to control the saw and then let go of the uh, on-off switch, which effectively all but instantaneously stops the saw. So to me that seems safer. And also, uh, lastly, I've tried over the years, and I've seen a bunch of people do it, push four foot by eight foot sheets of plywood through a table saw. And they usually have to have some sort of infeed table, maybe some sort of side table, and always some kind of outfeed table to help support the wood as it's being pushed through the blade. To me, it just makes more sense to let the big piece of wood stand still and move the smaller saw through the piece of wood, guiding it by, you know, my clamped on guide. To me, that just makes more sense. I think it's safer, and I think I can make just as, just as accurate a cut using the circular saw and the uh, cutting guide. So that, those are the three big reasons why I have effectively replaced um, my need for a table saw with just, by just using a circular saw. So in addition to why I think using a circular saw is actually safer to use than a table saw, I have a few other reasons why I prefer the circular saw over the table saw. First off, circular saw is way less expensive than even an inexpensive or cheaper table saw. And the issue I've seen with the cheaper table saws, the fences seem to be kind of rickety, the miter gauges are all but useless, the blade guards and riving knives can be somewhat difficult or frustrating to put on and take off when you change blades, um, and so on. So. Uh, I prefer to use a circular saw instead of one of those inexpensive table saws. I also prefer to work outside, so this is a very light saw. I'm just setting up an old ratty table to set up my cutting guide, and I can make some cuts outside in the fresh air where I don't have to worry about dust collection so much.
I do wear hearing protection because the circular saw still makes a fair amount of noise when it's cutting wood and I'm working underneath an overhang so the sound kind of reverberates. So I do wear hearing protection. I'll show you what I use and what I recommend in, in a minute. It's nice to be able to set up outside, make some cuts, and also break down pretty quickly and put everything back in the shop. doesn't take up that much space and I can do it a whole lot quicker than I could if I rolled the table saw out, made my cuts, and then had to roll the table saw back in. Maybe, maybe it's because my shop's not that well organized. I don't know. But so far the circular saw seems to be uh, working pretty well for me. So with all of that said, I hope you understand um, the why and the how I've managed to move myself away from using a table saw and basically replace it with a battery powered circular saw and a cutting guy. So thanks for listening. I hope I gave you some food for thought. So here's the hearing protection that I use, I made by 3M. Very comfortable to wear, so I don't mind wearing them, and they block out a lot of the noise. I will always wear these when I'm using any sort of loud power tool like the circular saw. I've also been known to use these while at home, if my family members are watching television or a movie or something and I'm trying to concentrate in the other room on the computer, I might put these on just to kind of give myself a little bit more peace and quiet while I'm focused on doing whatever I'm doing on the computer. So I definitely recommend these. Uh, check the link in the description for more info.